Do you ever notice that Democrats seem to like Europe and Canada more than America? They th say things like, the French are so enlightened on social issues, right? They're so enlightened on climate change. But our liberals also like other countries' approach to ideas that they don't like. Speech that supports traditionalism or, I don't know, Judeo-Christian moral teachings and national sovereignty. It's often branded by the elites as misinformation or hate speech, even anti-LGBTQ, or even pro-Nazi by the globalists in Europe and the socialists in Canada. We've seen Canadians who rock the boat get thrown in jail. We've covered those stories. And in Brussels this week, a conference on national conservatism was shut down by the local mayor. I understand the police are very, very keen to close this down. So if they're going to close it down, they can close it down with me on stage, can't they? But the authorities have decided to shut off the event, and I'm here to signify the decision. So I have the papers here, and I'm here to enforce the, the decision. To me, the police commissioner, give you knowledge of it, yes. and that you received it. Okay. It, doesn't, it doesn't say, I agree with it, I don't agree with it. Yes, Mayor Emir Kier thought the ideas of Nigel Farage, Victor Orban, and others were too dangerous to be heard. Joining us now, the founder of the Brexit movement, the aforementioned Nigel Farage. Nigel, now, I understand the high court in Brussels suspended the mayor's order, but what, what should Americans take away from all that's happened? Look what's happening to Trump here, the gag order on him, and all the other uh, developments in the last few years. Yes, and I mean, look at what's happening in every American university, as is happening here, where ideas that are perfectly reasonable, legitimate ideas are, are branded as somehow being extreme, mad, and dangerous. No, what happened in Brussels yesterday was extraordinary. Um, you saw that clip of me on the stage. The police came into the room to close the whole thing down. And Viktor Orban, the Prime Minister of Hungary, spoke this morning, and he said that in the late 1980s, when the Soviets were in control of Hungary, his political party repeatedly attempted to have meetings only to find the venues closing them out. And so what we're seeing is a new form of communism, where unless you agree with the globalist view that ever closer political union, ever more support for globalist structures like the World Health Organization, the European mm. Union, the UN, if you disagree with these things, you are mad, you are bad, you are dangerous, and you must be shut down. Well, we fought back yesterday in no uncertain terms. I refused to leave the venue. I said to the police, you want to take me out? You'll have to drag me out. Um, and they withdrew. We did win the court order overnight. So this has turned into Got a big a victory for free speech. But you know something? Whenever we talk about cancel culture, the left always say it doesn't exist. Well, here's this event yesterday has now gone global. We can see that it does happen and that it is a very pernicious form of censorship. Yeah, Nigel, it remind, reminds me of what happened during COVID, where people were being dragged out of trains who didn't have the masks on, or doctors being uh, being losing their jobs or their privileges because of something they said about the you know the vaccine or or shots. And now Emir Kier, the mayor who did attempt to stop this conference, sent the police there, said that being a mayor means being a guarantor of public safety. My order banning this demonstration was based on an analysis. Um, my lack of sympathy for those who preach hatred is assumed, but it is the maintenance of public order which motivated the ban. Nigel, protectual let, let much? Me tell you, let me tell you, in that room yesterday were members of European royal families, academics, successful businessmen and women, uh, elected conservatives, leaders of political parties who were going to top their nation's polls in the European elections this year. Amazing. This was the most respectable bunch of people you could ever imagine. Their sin was not to support the project of European Union. And it, it's unusual to say this, but the New York Times had the best headline of the lot. They said a conference that wanted to talk about cancel culture got, got cancelled. <laughs> so I think, actually, this time, the left have shot themselves in the foot in the most extraordinary way. But don't think, because we've had this win, that this goes away. Wow. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. The, the Liberals are now so full, Laura, of their own moral superiority. They believe they're better people than us and that we have to be cancelled. Well, they're, they're not going to stop. I think they're worried and they don't want to debate because they know they're actually destroying much of the prosperity and freedom that we all love. 
Nigel, keep at it. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.